Hello, this is Butting, and per the request of many fellas in my comments, just like you, Blurred Vision. Let's go. Right. And before I start breaking down every little sound and giving you more tips, I'm asking you to please like the video. That helps me out a lot. And if you're not subscribed and you enjoy my videos, please subscribe because only a small portion of you are and easy to do and really means the world to me. But let's get right into this with the basis of any banger, right? Drums. A blurred vision, they kind of sit between 120 and 140. You know, it really depends on the vibe they're feeling. But the kind of slower BPMs like 120 tend to do really well for this kind of like slow and spacious arrangement, you know, with that suspense, right? But anyways, yeah, drums, you want kind of trappy samples, right? These samples here, right, the derogatory kick and the snare. The derogatory kick, I think, is in my waves pack, right? And I think the other one is in the drum pack, right? If you're interested in getting these samples, that's on my website, and that would support me as well. Also, if you support me on Patreon, you get access to all these video presets, all the presets I make in all my videos, as well as the project files, right? Yeah, and you can also book a lesson from me, right? Done shouting myself out, because we're getting into the sound design. I'm gonna break down all these little sounds here, and then kind of show you some more sounds and some general arrangement tips. Let's go. So the basis of these kind of womps, which you hear in a lot of bass music, especially Blurred Vision, right? Right here, I chose a distorted sine wave, but a lot of times it doesn't make a huge difference or it's, pref it's preference, right, as to what bass you use. But the real movement comes from this filter, as you see, right? So let me just design this from scratch so I can get you an idea of how to make womps. Let's get a basis of our sound, just something to mess with and filter. Distorted sine waves always do well. You can also do a wave table or whatever you want, right? But so distorted sine wave, that's fine. It's a full sound. It's nice, right? After that, a filter, right? Because a filter is what gives you that classic unmistakable womp. And we don't want to drag this by hand, right? So we can use an LFO, right? And if we want it to go faster, we can just change the frequency, which is awesome. Also, if you want a bit of squelch, the resonance at that squelch, less resonance, less squelch, more smoothness, right? Another thing I really like to do is Vital's Chorus, right? I just find it makes it stereo and it makes it sound really full no matter what sound it is. Additionally, you can turn on the compression to make it a bit brighter, right? And really, like, that's the basis of your womp. You know, you can go through, try different wave tables for all different results. You see, it's really endless, the customization you can get with these sounds, right? But you can't go wrong with the sine wave, right? You can also try different modes of distortion. And really experiment, because as long as you have this filter womp movement going, it's going to sound half decent, you know? But I added some extra effects on top to add some spice, some spice. One effect you'll hear in a lot of Blurred Vision stuff is this Redux. Now basically what Redux does, if I drag it on Ableton Redux, it's a down sample, which basically just does whatever the heck that is, right? It makes it sound kind of old 8-bit and kind of gritty and screechy. And you can twist this knob to change the tone you get from it. The less would make it less fucked up and more clear. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little. You can also turn it to soft to get more precise. But yeah, that's Redux. You'll I'll show that on some other sounds too. And you can slap that on anything. It works great on sine waves especially. A bit of OTT after that. I like to turn up the time. Because you hear when the time is up, it sounds cleaner, has a cleaner WAP, right? And OTT just makes things brighter and crisper a lot of the time. And I turn up the output just because I want it louder. You can also have reverb if you want, just to make it kind of like horn-like, you know? Uh, reverb is cool sometimes on basses. Don't overuse reverb, though. Be careful. One thing you can do with reverb is if it's sounding dirty in the mix, 
you hear, you can put on this low cut and drag it up. Now just the high end echoes, which ends up sounding cleaner in the mix. That's that. So yeah, that's that wub. You can really tweak it and mess with it as with every sound, right? But and this is just a little gun click sample I found. Just dig through Reddit, dig through freesound.org for all these cool samples, right? And they use a lot of cool samples. But I know what you want. You want this massive sustain bass, right? And as you see, there's quite a few layers in this, right? But there's a few things that are very universal with sustain basses and especially just blurred vision sound, right? The first thing you're going to hear a lot of in blurred vision is whatever the heck this thing is. All right, let me actually... See, I don't know why there's a sub on this, but whatever, okay. Let me first show you what's going on in Vital before all these frequency shifters, right? And I'm sure you can guess where the sound is coming from. It's a frequency shifter, right? But look, in Vital, all it is are trusty sine wave. You can have any wave, but sine waves definitely get you the cleanest result when you start throwing on these frequency shifters, right? So let's get a frequency shifter and just play with the knobs and you can see all these familiar sounds you can get. You see, just twisting that knob gets you so many alien type of noises, if you would consider them that. And that's cool, and you can automate it, you can make it go whir. You can also affect the pitch more subtly. That's just a little subtler pitch amount. You can also turn up this amount. The amount knob basically it turns on this LFO, right? So it's modulating the frequency and the shape of a sine wave, a square wave. You know, every shape that's how it modulates the frequency. You can change the rate, right? Make it go faster, make it go slower. You can also sync it to a note, which is honestly really sick. I love the sound. And if you don't want it like phasing between your ears in a weird stereotype of way, you can just turn down the phase and it won't I'll turn it up. Offset kind of like offsets it. You see, it just starts at a slightly different time, which is cool. Right, and you could just stack these forever and ever and end up with so many cool results, right? But there is another thing. Another thing to this frequency shifter, and that's the ring mod, which it might be even more signature and characteristic of the sound. Like Jesus Christ. Basically what ring mod does, it just like modulates the volume really fast, which gives you some really weird effect. Sounds pretty similar, but when you stack them up, it, you really hear the difference. And... You can really just duplicate them, you know, have a frequency shifter on top. You can have another LFO. And yeah, just endless fun. All these sounds are going to be similar, but you can get so many different results and they all slap stupidly hard. And then, if you want that kind of like 8-bit flavor, just a bit of redux on soft mode. And you're set, you know. This, this is super fun. It's a super cool sound to employ and mess with in all your arrangements, right? And that makes those weird top-end leads. That's how you do it, blurred vision style, right? Now for these fat basses, you'll see a lot of stuff like this in my tutorials because it's pretty universal. You know, fat sustain bass, just get a wavetable, really any wavetable. You could do this and just slam it through distortion. And that just get it sounding super fat. You can hard clip it or soft clip it. You can also have some compression going on if you're feeling crazy and want to compress it. As always, you can throw on OTT as well. You know, like typical stuff. And let me just freeze this real quick so it stops lagging. Okay, I'm back. They're done freezing. So let's go right on to these kind of more rhythmic basses. You hear these a lot on their own, but also layered with the sustained basses, right? Let's turn off our processing just to give it a bit more brightness and girth, as some might say. But you'll see all these kind of want basses you hear a lot. The same formula, you know, some type of distortion, you know, sinoid fold is super common with them. And I'll show you some more tricks with sinoid fold in a minute, right? But what really matters is this envelope triggering this cutoff, right? And you can change the amount with the cutoff. And 
and where it moves to. Yeah, that's that. You know, I'll have, like I said, you can get you can get different stuff. You know, chorus sounds good on a lot of this stuff. And add a bit of saturation, OTT, and have a good time. Jesus. Yeah, it's kind of dying right now, but it's good enough. Let me freeze this and then move on. Okay, our next little bass. If you were paying attention closely, this sounds a bit familiar, right? Because it's just like Redux. You know, just like Redux has its own down sample, Vital has its down sample. And the compressor makes it louder. Bit crush is also another thing you could do. And also, let me just pull in Redux real quick to show you. Redux has its own bit crush, which works just as well. You see, bit crush or bit reduction. Yeah, that's that. You can turn that on and twist the knob and have fun. Yeah, but sine waves tend to give you the cleanest result. You won't get this clean screech with anything else, because let's get like this. You can't even hear it. Uh, this, you can't hear it. This, it just sounds weird. You see what I mean? So if you want that clean screech, sine waves are the way to go. And this right here is just a straight sine wave sub. You know, because when you're doing all this processing and all this layering, you want to make sure you have the lows cut on all your mid basses. And then you have just a sine wave on its own, right? That'll ensure your sub is clear and as loud as possible for the system. Another thing I always do, not always, but a lot of the time, uh, wider, which is a free plugin. Yeah, you can just... You can just make things more stereo, which makes it sound bigger and more present, which is important, right? But really, like, that's about the sound design. You know, I do have this womp here, which is just pretty much the same womp, except with just another OTT and no Redux as the first one, you see. You see, you already know what's going on there. Right, this, this build-up is just drums rising up. Uh, this high pass opening, I'll get an auto filter, drag that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is just frequency shifting. Riser sounds, right, riser sound effects, drums, okay. I, I just did that lazily because I want to get to something else, right? Build-ups are basic and easy. But um, something you want to keep in mind when arranging in this style is that basically every song follows a similar arrangement in that it's always bounce, bounce, wee, wee. Wow, wow, wow. Woo, woo. Just, you understand? Like, it's just call and then very distinct response, typically on the same beat, which is if you want to copy this drum arrangement exactly, you'll find this is pretty much the exact arrangement in a lot of those style of songs, like Baba Tunde, Hybrid Trap kind of inspired stuff. It's always this little, this fourth beat is where that heavy bass comes in. But. Like, I don't, I don't condone this kind of simple arrangement, right? But it does slap. It does get the job done. But feel free to be creative with it, you know? Because creativity is where it's at. But, you know, it slaps. I can't, I can't blame them for having a similar arrangement. But on top of the arrangement, right, some more kind of sounds in the style to mess with is just sine waves, right? So just get a sine wave, get a saturator. You can twist knobs on the saturator for a lot of sounds, especially in the sonoid fold category. Just twist the drive in the bass and you'll get a lot of familiar sounds, not only for blurred vision, but a lot of freeform bass stuff. Right? You can also, oh, one thing I forgot to show you is auto pan. If you turn the amount up, it pans stereo. If you turn the phase down, it pans mono. If you turn this on sync, it pans rhythmically. If you invert it, it starts at the bottom of the waveform. Right, which is cool for variations, right? Like on the second. Right, I meant to have that on a higher amount, but you see, it's just an interesting variation. So it hits. Yeah. You know, and you can have it the whole thing do that the whole time, or you can just have it on as a variation. You can also change the rate, make it interesting, and all that. You know, but really that's about it for this style of sound design. 
you know, fat sustain bases, fat call bases very wobbly a lot of the time. You know, throw in some cool little sound effects for that little fill before that bass really hits and maybe get some cool vocal chops just from acapellas or from like sample packs. Anything you could find. Dig through Reddit for sample packs, also my website. Except I don't have vocals in my packs. I should make some. That would be cool. I think I meant to, but I forgot. Right? Yeah, but more to come in the future. You know the deal. And yeah, that's about that for that. You know, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like because that helps me out a lot. Be sure to comment any questions on this video or if you have any suggestions for a future artist to cover or this video in general. I'd be happy to make that a reality. You know, be sure to visit my website, check out the stuff. Join the Discord, which is also in the description if you want to join a community of like-minded producers and all that. You know, I can't think of any more to say. Say goodbye to Joe. He enjoyed hanging out on the chair while I made this lovely video for you guys. What a sweetheart, right? But yeah, that's that. And this is your boy Bunting. Peace out. See you in the next vid. Bye.